Okay. Now, they're coming within five minutes. Okay, let me do this first. Set the table. Make sure everything is proper. Right, my glass, my napkin. Okay, table set, done. Okay. Now, oh, I have to throw the rubbish. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, talking about chores. I hate chores. Okay, done. Right, done with my rubbish. Okay. Oh, do the laundry for all. Okay, one. Oh, towels. Okay. Let's go for laundry. Ah. Oh. TV KPM. That's right. Class is in session, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everyone. My name is Chris. You are watching Menengah Rendah for today's subject, Bahasa Inggeris, on the topic of, can you guess, messy house. We have a table over here. And what was our teacher doing earlier? That's right. The topic for today is jobs and chores. So I'm so excited. I hope you are ready for today's class. But first, let's get to know today's teacher. That's right, friends. For today's English lesson, we have Madam Farah from SMK Bandamas, Kota Tinggi, all the way from Johor. Hi, Madam. Yes. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm fine. Thank you, Mr. Chris. It's... It has been a while since I last met you. Exactly. I'm so excited for today's lesson yes. because I'm here again with Madam Farah. But it's not just me and you. Is that correct, Madam? Exactly. Yeah, we have more. friends online. So let's say hi to them. Hi, everyone. Hi! There they are, my classmates for today. Well, <laughs> madam, could you be so kind uh, to introduce our friends online? Well, absolutely. All right, uh, good day everyone to the girls, boys and to all the viewers out there. So let me introduce to you our four friends in the house. So we shall start with the uh, first lady in the house there. We have Putri Farisha Liana Binti Rohaizat. And she's from SMK Subang Bestari Alam Selangor. Hi Putri! Hi Putri, nice to meet you. Okay, so the next one will be Shamir. Um, uh, Muhammad Shamir Isham bin Shamsul Ismin. And he is from Sekolah Menengah Sains Tuanku Munawe Sasa Seremban Negeri Sembilan. Hi, Shamir. Hi, Shamir. Nice to meet you. All right. So the next one will be Adam. And his name is Nur Adam Lukman bin Nur Azli. And he is from SMK Puchong Utama Satu Puchong Selangor. Hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. And last but not least, we have Nor Damia Kashrina binti Muhammad Afazilan, and she is from Sekolah Menengah Sains Johor, Kluang. Hi. Hi, Kashrina. Wow, I have four new friends for today, and also for those of you watching at home, you are my friend as well. Exactly. But before we get into today's lesson, I just want to check with my friends uh, watching at home as well online. Are we ready for today's lesson? If you are ready, give me a double thumbs up. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Well, madam, on today's topic of jobs and chores, yes. what are we going to learn, madam? Well, Chris, don't you see what I did just now? I was like busy with my chores. Yeah. So today we are going to do about job and chores, which I feel that everyone might yeah. like it. How about you, Mr. Chris? No, no, no. I, I, uh. I don't like doing <laughs> chores, actually. Okay, so we'll be doing job and chores for today. Yeah. So let me just uh, start with my slide here. Sure. All right, now we're going to do our um, form two, work, uh, your pulse 
textbook of page 61 and page 62. We're about to explore the lessons on jobs and chores. Okay. All right? Now, uh, Chris, you have to know that uh, when we talk about jobs and chores, it is all about routine, our daily routine, which can also be either difficult or unpleasant. All right. right. So this is our objective for today, Mr. Chris. Firstly, as uh, our content standard main skill is to use appropriate communication strategies and our learning standard main skill will be uh, to be able to keep interaction going on, going in longer, longer exchanges by checking understanding of what the speaker is saying. Mm. So by the end of the lesson, Mr. Chris, we are about to uh, use appropriate communication strategies by using adverb frequency and be going to. So the pupils here will be able to use this um, adverb frequency and as well as be going to. And besides that, it will also be able, they will be able to keep interaction going by delivering two sentences of a situation given. Mm, All right, okay. so that will be our learning outcome for today, Mr. Chris. All right. Okay, so for our topic today, Mr. Chris, it's all about speaking. So mm. girls and boys and to all viewers out there, when you talk about speaking, that is paper three of our PT3 and you guys are form two, am I right? So this is your playground when you talk about speaking. So what are the things and the criteria that you need to be aware of when you are speaking? So firstly, it's all about time, all right? Mm. And definitely it's about idea. How do you generate ideas within that time constraint? Yeah. And Mr. Chris, it's all about um, the students, the candidates will be given only 20 seconds to think of ideas. Wow, 20 and seconds? Exactly. And they are only given like maybe one or two minutes to give their response. Right. So they need to practice from now. So these are the things when you are about to share your ideas. And of course, you need to start with your keywords. All right. And I'm sure you will remember what my keywords are and where do we get the keywords from. And of course, once you get your ideas, you need to organize them. All right. Now, okay. how do you organize? Of course, you have to apply either conjunctions or cohesive devices, your word linkers, as well as your sentence connectors. And last but not least, is to make it a quality response. Will it be including language expressions or will it be including conversation fillers? All right, so now, of course, Mr. Chris, do you remember my mom makes or match? So these yes. are the six colors where students will be using these colors to generate their ideas. So they will have white for true story, okay, and yellow for uh, positivity. Okay, now, let me ask Putri. Putri, what do you think black represents, Putri? I think that black represents negativity. Exactly, negativity, which also describes challenges or problems. Now, how about you, um, Shami? What do you think green colour represents, Shami? I think green colour represents giving opinions. Giving opinions and suggestions. Mm. Now, let us proceed to red colour. Adam, what does red colour represent, Adam? I think red colour is represent emotion. Emotions or feelings. Good job. And last but not least is blue colour, which represents wishes, hopes or conclusion. So having said that, we are going to learn on how to give response and using the colours as I mentioned earlier. Okay. So basically, Mr. Chris, when students are giving their response, they need to opt using either two colours or three colours. So three colours is actually an option. All right. So they can have two colours and combine them and voila. That gives them a good sentence structure. Now, for example, I'm going to give you an example of our situation today, my weekly chores. All right, so I'm using white color, that is true story. And this is my chore, that is do some ironing. And the second one will be yellow, which is positivity, but makes me arrive school early. So when I combine this, Mr. Chris, yeah. it will be together with conjunctions or either linking words or perhaps sentence connectors. And this is the final product. Okay, so the sentence is every weekend I do some ironing in order to arrive at school early. So that's my example for today before we ask our friends behind ah. here to give out their sentences. All okay, right. now, girls and boys, I want you to please look at the pictures on the slide here. All right, now, what can house chore one be from the picture? Now, oh. who wants to answer? What does house chore one is? Can I try, madam? Okay, Shami, over to you. What do you think that is? Chore number one is likely to be doing the laundry. Exactly, with the basket, with the clothes. Spot on, Shami. Now, what about house chore number two? Anyone wants to try? Give it a try, people. Can I try, madam? 
Yes. I think uh, that boy is washing the dishes. Washing, washing the dishes. dishes. And do you see that the person that is wearing the glove? Wait, um, Ada, why do you think this boy is wearing his glove? Why is that so? I think that boy is allergic to soap. Mm. Allergic to soap? Yeah. Are you having it? Allergy to soap? No, no, no. I, I, I don't wash my dishes. You, you can make that as a reason not <laughs> yeah, to yeah, wash yeah. your dishes, I'll tell Mr. Mom, yeah. Now I'm allergic to soap, <laughs> okay. so I can wash So the let's soap. go to the yeah. third one. So who wants to try what house chore number three is? Anyone yeah, wants to try? Them. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, Katrina, give it a try. I think, I think your number three is throwing the leftover food. All right. Uh, what is it again? Can you repeat your answer? Your number, I think your number three is throwing the leftover food. Throwing, throwing the leftover, throwing leftover food. food. Yes, exactly. Yes. Spot on, Katrina. Okay, last but not least, Putri, it's your turn. What is house chore number four? Putri? Oh, Putri, you haven't unmuted your mic yet. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. House it happens. Oh, okay, all right, Putri, <laughs> go. House chore four is probably wiping the table. Mopping the table, uh, uh, setting the table, cleaning the table, exactly. Good job. So now, girls and boys, I am going to ask you to apply using adverb frequency. As you can see from the slide, we will have 100%, which indicates always. Yeah, how frequent do you do an action, yeah, Mr. Mm. Chris? And the second one, I will always ask my students to indicate the average 50%, which is sometimes. And the last one would be never, 0%. So when you look at this chart here, you can actually tell which to choose when you want to describe the frequency of your actions or your routines. All right? Now, what I want you boys and girls to do today is I want you to choose the chores from the slides and make that into a sentence. But girls and boys and to all the viewers out there, for our first segment, our friends here will explain in detail, step by step, on how they actually construct the ideas and how do they put them together and make that into one sentence. All right. Yeah. Sounds exciting. Exactly. So that is how we teach and share with others on how their mind works, Mr. Chris. Okay. Okay. So now, this will be the list of chores. Right. Now, I, I'm sure all of you have well, were given your list of chores earlier. All right. So now, can I have a, anyone to give it a try on your choices of chores with your adverb frequency? Over to you. Who wants to try? Can I try, madam? Okay. Yes, Shami. Shami. Okay. My first job is washing the family car. Okay, my washing my family car. Are, my two colors are white and green. White and green. Okay, proceed. My white color is washing the family car. Okay. And my second color is yellow. Eh, it's green. It's green. Uh, wash. Send to a car wash. Oh, send to the car wash. Okay, now can you build a sentence and share it with us? My sentence is, as I am staying in a hostel, I seldom wash my family car because my father usually sends it to a car wash. Good. Mm. So he actually used seldom and he right. had his white color and green color in his sentence. Good job. So now let's go to the next one. Anyone wants to give it a try? What are your two them? choices? Chores. Okay, Adam. Go ahead. Okay, Adam. Uh, my first choice is do the laundry. Okay, and do the laundry. My two colors are white and yellow. And my first color is do the laundry. And my second color is treasure our family. The sentence is every weekend. <laughs> my every frequency is generally. The sentence is every weekend I generally do the laundry with my brother because we want to treasure our family in order to make them happy. Good job. So he actually used generally from his yeah. advert frequency. Didik TV KPM. Hello everyone, welcome back to today's Menengah Rendah lesson on Bahasa Inggeris and the topic that we are discussing today is jobs and chores and I'm here with Madam Farah and in this segment, Madam, yes, we yes. are going to focus on the topic of how to make chores fun. Uh, is that even possible, Madam? Of course! 
course, Mr. Chris. Okay, you I'm can, curious to find it, out. It's, it's us who decide whether it's fun or it's not fun. Mm, okay, <laughs> let's see, let's see. Okay, so to all the uh, girls and boys, people's viewers out there, so our next will be on how to make chores fun by using um, be going to, and these are the choices. So the students, our friends here, will be able to decide whether they want to use um, am going to or going is going to are going to and also uh, will be going to as well as was going to and were going to so they'll be given a choice to either choose be going to or will be going to okay. on deciding how to make chores fun but mm. this time they are going to deliver it with their own um, flow but within 20 seconds oh, so wow. with me here Mr. Chris and to the pupils out there, please be aware of your timing. So I'm going to ah. set them with 20 seconds because okay. that is how the reality works in school. They'll be given 20 seconds for them to think of the ideas. And once 20 seconds is done, the bell rings. All right. All right. So to the girls and boys out there and to all the viewers, especially our friends here, so this is what you're supposed to do. You need to decide ah. and choose two chores okay. which will and you have to decide how to make chores fun. Okay? All right. So now, having said that, we have the list of choices here. So let's have, choose. Yeah. So who wants to be the first? And raise up your hands so that I can set your timing. Who can that be? Oh, Shamir. Okay, Shamir. Okay. So Shamir, now I'm going to give you 20 seconds and your 20 seconds. Oh, uh, but wait, yes, madam, yes. What, what choice is Shamir choosing? Okay. Oh, yeah. yes, I forgot about that. Okay, Shami, what's your choice, Shami? What are your two choices, Shami? Oh, Shami, you haven't unmuted your mic, I think. Okay, Shami, now this is what you're yeah. supposed to do, Shami. You need to decide on how to make chores fun and it doesn't matter whatever chores that he would choose right. right as long as you give us an idea on how you would make your chores fun all right Shami so all right I'm giving you 20 seconds all right. and yeah 20 seconds begins now Shami go 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 think of it think first think first 20 seconds okay so right now we're giving Shami 20 seconds to think of to the think. ideas and uh, pupils watching at home you can try this activity as well mm -hmm. so choose two chores and use this time to think of your sentence and your idea. All right, okay, time's done. up. Okay, that Shami, over to you. That's okay. yes. I will be going to make a cleaning a family affair to make cleaning more efficient while creating positive memories. We'll be going to make and he actually chose making make cleaning a, a family, family affair. affair. I love that. Good job, Shami. Okay, now who wants to be the next one to try and giving us your way of making chores fun. Who can that be? Who wants to be the next? Can I try, Madam? Okay, Adam. So, let me give you 20 seconds. And yeah, 20 seconds begins now. <laughs> oh, right, 20 okay. seconds. 20 seconds. Yes. Only 20 seconds. Wow. Yes. That is the reality that happens during the examination where right. students need to think within 20 seconds. Okay. All right. How many more? Seconds we have left. All right, three, two, two one. one. Okay. Okay. All right, over to you, Adam. I'm going to sing my favorite song while cleaning the shower, so I will more enjoy when I'm doing my chores. All right. So Adam used will be going to play your favorite song. Oh, okay. Singing, singing or playing? What did you say just now? Uh, singing. Oh, singing while doing your chores. I've never thought of that. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that, that, that is one way to keep things fun. <laughs> exactly. All right, good. So now let's go to the next one. Anyone wants to be the third student to choose how to make your chores fun? Anyone? Hi, madam. Okay, who's that? Putri. Okay, Putri. Now, are you ready? I'm going to give you 20 seconds. And your 20 seconds starts now. Go, go, go. All right. So for the pupils watching at home, you can choose a B, um, am going to, is, is going, going to, to or are going, are going to, to or will be going to. Will be going to. All right. Okay. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. <laughs> okay, go, Putri. I am going to fold the clothes while, while watching my favorite movie mm. so it would not bore me. 
All right, I so she to... will be watching her favorite movie. Oh, that and is you know smart. why, Mr. Chris? Just to make her stay awake. Yeah. And I always do that. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a very great idea. <laughs> yeah, you can just a... watch watch a movie while folding your clothes. And you will never notice that you're, you will be done within seconds. Exactly. Wow, <laughs> that's a good idea. Okay, so now last but not least, we have Kashrina. It's only left with you, Kashrina. All right, no other choice. So are you ready? So I'm going to give you 20 seconds and your 20 seconds begins now. Go, Kashrina, go. Okay, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Mm. All right, 20 seconds. So the timing hmm. is, is crucial to all yeah. students, Mr. Chris, because they'll be um, always focused yep. and they know how their mind works within the time constraint. All right, done, 20 seconds. Okay, over to you, Kashrina. Give it to us. I'm be going to chat while scrubbing the sink, mm. toilet and bathtub while I'm doing the chores. Oh, you're going to chat with your dad? Yes. Um, while... Wait, wait. Why do you prefer chatting to your dad and not your mom? Huh? <laughs> Can you explain why? It is because my mother is a very busy person. Ah. I think we are on the same boat. <laughs> I'm busy too. <laughs> okay, good. So, he, uh, Kashrina will be chatting while doing her chores. And yeah. Girls and boys, viewers out there, so this is how you're going to give out ideas on how to make your chores fun. And if you're ever asked about this, you should be using be going to, will be going to, and follow what your friends just shared earlier. All right? Okay, so now let us proceed to our next part. Okay. Yeah? So what your friends just did just now, let me explain. Okay, so we're going to actually have, you, we are going to use be going to for an example to explain what your friends just shared earlier, Mr. Chris. Okay, so let's say I'm going to use, my first colour would be yellow, make cleaning a family fair, alright? And the second colour will be red, which is feelings, I am excited. So how do we combine these two together using be going to, that is am going to. So this is how the sentence will be like. I am excited when scrubbing the bathtub as I'm going to make cleaning a family fair. Mm. So that is how they combined and they construct their ideas within 20 seconds. Wow. So Mr. Chris, having yeah. said that, colours is crucial to all students yep. to give you that spark of ideas. Yes, and it also helps the pupils construct their sentences as well. So on that note, I would like to ask you, Madam, how did our friends online do for this activity? I would say G double O D J O B. Good job, good job, good job, guys. Wow, I like that G double O D J O B. Yeah. Good job. Uh, well, yes, uh, amazing. Uh, yeah, Madam Farah, can we take a short break for now? Yes, of course. Yeah, I, I'm having a lot of fun learning about jobs and chores, and I think my mom would enjoy this episode because it's you know I'm going to do more chores after this. But for those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Madam Farah for today's English lesson. Jobs and chores. We'll see you after this. TV KPM. That's right. Yeah. Welcome back to class with Madam Farah. And for today, we are discussing uh, on the subject of Basa Ingris on the topic of jobs and chores. Now, Madam Farah, in this segment, what are we going to learn, Madam? All right. For this segment, Mr. Chris, our friends here are going to construct more sentences okay. because they are going to keep on interacting. But this time, they are going to apply conversation feelers and All some right. language expressions. So, come on, girls and boys, let us see what we are going to explore for the next segment. So, for this segment three, now we are going to make students be aware of the requirements when they do speaking activities in school. Now, firstly, of course, of course, you can never go away without mum. 
that mm. gives you two colors. two colors. And secondly is you need to make sure you have to um, apply the conversation feelers. Okay, Mr. Chris, why do you think we do have these conversation feelers? What is it for? I think it's to make our sentences more interesting, more dynamic. And to make you sound confident because you will not be having that uh, pause moment, you know? Right. Yeah, students love to do that. Uh, mm, mm. Uh, uh, mm. Understand, understand. So I, even I do that sometimes. Exactly. Okay. So with conversation feelers, we can actually overcome that. Right. And okay. the teachers will not notice that you're still thinking and you're a little bit blur. Understood, understood. <laughs> okay, so okay. the third one, it would definitely be... Okay, you are going to. They are going to com, uh, construct compound and complex sentence structure, and last but not least, they have to apply the templates and language expressions that I will be sharing with you after this. Okay. So, Mr. Chris, these are the three crucial uh, criteria that all students from one, from two, from three should be aware of, and those are definitely grammar, their vocabulary, and communicative competence. Because when it comes to speaking, they will be assessed on this three major elements okay. how their grammar works how their vocabulary is mm. and how would their communicative competence be like i right? hope you're writing notes my friends yes. if you're watching right now make sure you get a notebook out exactly because farah is teaching a lot of tips here okay. okay so now let us proceed to our activity today here uh -huh. mr chris okay so girls and boys behind here are you ready guys so this is your task today so ask the class which of the activities they think young people do for money and which they do to help around the home. So look at this uh, statement, Mr. Chris. Listen to their ideas. In the UK, young people often wash cars, babysit, pet sit and deliver newspapers for money. Mm, so I think okay. we should do the same too. Yeah. So mm. nothing goes away without money. But right. of course, we do have some very good children out there who do this sincerely and just do it for fun. Good yes, deeds. Very good. Very good. <laughs> All right. So now, uh, please turn to page 62 of your uh, Pulse textbook. All right. All right. So this is what you guys are supposed to do. Now, you need to look at the list of option, uh, the list of chores here. Okay. So they need to decide what can be the two chores where people out there do for money. All right. All right. So now, let us ask somebody who wants to be the first to guess two chores which you think people out there do for money. Anyone right, wants want, to try? Who wants to try? Can I try, Madam? Oh, uh, Shami loves to be the first one yes. to try. Go okay, over to you, Shami. What's your two chores where do you think people do for money? What can that be? Well, I would say that cleaning the blinds and washing the windows are easy ways to earn some extra money. Okay, mm -hmm. cleaning the blinds and window washing. Why do you think cleaning the blinds need to be paid? Hmm, mm. I've never thought of that. Why? Yeah. Because not everyone knows the right technique to clean them. Oh yeah, wow. not everyone knows the right technique. It's a particular they will just clean the huh? feather duster and zzz. Right, some, right. some people even use the vacuum cleaner yeah, yeah. to clean the blinds. So, That's me, I think. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, now, uh, so can I have another um, another two chores which you think will make people out there do for money? Anyone wants to try? Can I try, Madam? Okay, Adam. What are your two chores? Uh, I guess I will choose clean the cat's house and grass cutting. Grass cutting, of course, I agree with you. It can be the monthly chores mm. and clean the cat's house. Exactly. Do you have cats at home, Adam? Uh, yes. Wow. What kind of cats do you have? Uh, I guess it's American short hair. Wow. American what short breed? No, I, I just know cat. Yeah, all the cats. <laughs> I, I heard short breed. It's like for breakfast. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that means a boy who loves cats can be a loving kind of person. Are you a loving kind of person, Adam? Yes. Oh? Yes. <laughs> wow. So, um, he's still available, I guess. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what about the next one? Can I have another one to share me your two chores that you think people do for money? May I try, Adam? Okay, Kash. Okay, over to you, Kashrina. I will usually clean out the refrigerator and vacuuming the carpet since I'm the only one in my house not busy. Oh, mm -hmm. now she's talking about herself. Right. And she prefers to be paid for these chores. Yeah. Okay. Talking about cleaning the refrigerator. Yeah. yeah I, I, I admit. Um, I, it's I, quite a tough task, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love to put everything in the refrigerator, but we will have 
tons of leftover foods in the refrigerator. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't agree more with you. Good job, Kashrina. So last but not least, can I have another one student to share with me your two chores where people do for money? Who can that be? Me, madam. Yes, of course, you put three, you're the only one left. Okay, <laughs> over to you, go. I suppose cleaning the garage and ceiling fence would be a great choice to do for money. Yeah. And talking about you, a girl cleaning the ceiling fans, yeah. you need to be paid, girl. You need to be paid. <laughs> all right. Yes. Good job, Putri. All right. So to all parents out there, start counting money because your <laughs> children will be doing chores now. <laughs> okay. So these are the colours chosen by your friends just now, Mr. Chris. Okay. So these are all the chores where they think people need to do this for money. All right. So having said that, we are going to make them construct sentences ah. applying language expressions because this is how their um, uh, repo starts. Yeah? Yes. They have to uh, create that communicative competence when they construct all these uh, sentences all together. All right. So they're going to use language expressions. So this will be the list of uh, ideas on how to express their opinions. And this is also to express someone's opinion. So you can that you can take this yeah, yeah uh, into account when you want to give your opinions, yeah, girls and boys and viewers out there. All right. So on top of that, we are not going to make them do the pausing moment. Uh huh. Uh huh. So they're going to apply conversation fillet. So these are some examples where they can say, "Well, I think I will choose." And as what you can see on the slide. Right. right. Okay. okay, now next, they have to apply cohesive devices, which is a must to all when you construct your sentences, people. All so, right. how aware are you? How aware are you of your cohesive devices? So, let us decide later when you see your friends sharing their sentences. Mm. So, these are the cohesive devices that students need to apply when they construct sentences, be it speaking or writing, Mr. S Mr. Yeah. Chris. Yeah? Yep. Okay. So, all right, now I'm going to give you a very short example, giving four examples to all of you out there. So my first response will be using conversation fillers and I'm using, I guess I will choose. Ah. I guess I will choose cleaning the bathroom and doing the laundry for the activities helping around the house. See how good it sounds when you have the language expressions yes. and also conversation fillers. Correct. I guess I will choose. The next one will be starting with language expression. That is, the truth is that. So mm. it makes you feel and it makes you sound, wow, this girl is so well prepared and yep. confident. More confident yeah, as well. Yeah, it's well organized and you don't look yeah. like your age from two 14-year-old giving your response. True. All right. Okay, the truth is that I often clean the bathroom apart from doing the laundry every day and as a special treat, my family will take me to my favorite restaurant. So my third sentence will be having again alternately conversation fillers because they have a lot of choices to make, right? right? So I would say that vacuuming carpets and curtain is my choice because I enjoy doing them for the extra money. Last but not least, you would end up your sentence with cohesive devices and besides, I'm going to vacuum both carpets and curtains every month which gives extra RM50 for my pocket money. So Mr. Chris, yeah. please be aware and to all viewers out there, mm -hmm. you are only given like one, two minutes to respond. So how on earth do you think they can come up with these four sentences if yeah. they don't have these templates right. yeah, of conversation fillers Correct. and then proceed to language expressions and then conversation fillers again and then ends up with coisy devices. So that okay. makes you look confident. Okay, now girls and boys, are you ready for your task today? All right, so what okay. will we be doing today? Yeah, so Mr. Chris will be going to set the time and it will be again 20 seconds. Okay. Seriously, madam? Yup, 20 seconds, people. So who wants to be the first to start? Go. Can I try, madam? Yes. Okay, so. Show me. It's Xiaomi, always Xiaomi. I will give okay. you 20 seconds. Yes, so your 20 seconds so start starts now. now. Go. Okay. So within these 20 seconds, Shami will come to will try to construct a sentence. Using conversation fillers, language expressions, okay. and it ends up with cohesive devices. All right. To explain what chores should be uh, done, paid, the, yes. done with for money. But done for money okay. and for fun. And time. All right. Okay. Over to you, Shami. Give it to me. I suppose I will choose clean the bathroom and do the laundry for the activities helping around the house. If you ask me, I often clean the bathroom and do the laundry to keep my uh, to keep my family house clean. Good. Um, frankly speaking, mm -hmm. I would say washing the windows and cleaning the blinds are easy ways to get some pocket money around the neighborhood. In addition, 
I will be going to wash the windows and clean the blinds all around the neighborhood, which can earn me 60 ringgits for my savings. Wow. wow. You just did four sentences within 20 seconds with all these conversations. All right, good. So now, what I want you to do is, we are going to ask the second person to share us your four sentences. All right? All so right. who wants to be the next? Can I try, Madam? Yes, Adam. Over to you, Adam. I suppose watering plants and preparing meals because I want to treasure my family. In the first place, I usually prepare meals for my family than watering plants. Besides, I enjoy getting attention from my parents. I guess I will choose cleaning the cat's house and grass cutting for my extra money. Furthermore, I'm going to cleaning the cat's house and grass cutting every weekend, so I will receive my extra money from my parents. G double O D J O B Adam, you had your conversation fillers, you had your two language expressions, and you ended up with your cohesive devices. Amazing, Adam. Good job, Adam. Okay, so let us have another one. The last person who wants okay. to be the last person to share with us your chores and your sentences. Anyone? May I try, Madam? Okay, okay Kaj. Your, Over to you, Kaj. Your time starts now. now. 20 so seconds. 20 seconds to For construct. you to think of the sentences. Exactly. Okay. And they only have like one, two minutes to respond. All right. Okay. So you have 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. So pupils watching at home, you can also join along in this activity. Yeah. And we are focusing more on speaking, correct, Madam? Exactly. Okay, in three, two, one. All right. Over to you, Kaj. I generally will choose to make the bed and clean the room for the activities helping around the house. Good. If you ask me, I normally make the bed apart from clean the bedroom every day to facilitate my parents' work. Okay. I will choose clean out refrigerator and vacuum carpet. Also, curtains is my choice to get more extra pocket money. Well done. Moreover, I will be cleaning out the refrigerator so my parents will give additional money for my saving. Good job. All right. Uh, can we actually have one more to share us with you? I think we don't need 20 seconds. Yes, okay. I think Putri can nail this. Yeah, maybe Less she than 20 prepared, seconds. right? Okay, Putri, are you ready, Putri? Over give to it you, to me. Putri, go. Thank you. It is better if I choose cleaning the living room and taking out the household trash for the activities helping around the house. If you ask me, I always clean the house, the living room apart from taking out the household trash because it is easy and because it is an easy task to do. Good. I suppose cleaning the garage and ceiling fans is my choice to do for extra pocket money. Mm -hmm. Besides that, I am going to clean the garage and ceiling fans to receive a generous gift from my parents. Well done, everyone. My jaw dropped. <laughs> when the Putri yes. was able to construct. And girls and boys okay. and to all viewers out there, please make this as your best friends forever when it comes to speaking activities because it is all about timing. Mr. Uh, Chris, everyone yeah. can speak. Everyone, everyone can Everyone can speak. respond. But can they respond? With within 20, 20 seconds. seconds. That's right. Good job, everyone who tried this activity along. We'll be taking a short break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Menengah Rendah with Madam Farah only on Didet TV KPM. See you after this. G double O D J O B. Good job, good job, good job. KPM. Hi everyone, welcome back to today's Menengah Rendah subject on Bahasa Inggeris. And today we are talking about jobs and chores with Madam Farah. And in this segment, we are going to share our learning points with my friends online as well as those of you watching at home. Is that right, Madam Farah? Yes, Mr. Chris. All so right. now, we shall ask any one of our 
friends here to share us their learning points. Okay. So who is ready to share us your learning points? Anyone? I'm, anyone? Can I share, Madam? Shami, it's always yes, Shami. Good job, Shami. All right, what's Sorry. your learning point, Shami? Today, I learned how to use be going and conversation fillers to avoid pausing moments in my speaking activities. Exactly. You have learned how to use be going to and also conversation fillers. I couldn't agree more. Good job, Adam. Uh, Shami. So, who wants to be the next to share us your learning points, people? I'll try, Madam. Okay. All right. Over to you, Putri. What's your learning point? Today, I learned that adding adverb frequency to my sentences mm -hmm. would make it look very tidy and it shows how the routine works. It shows how the routine works, mm. how frequent you do your actions. Good job. I have never thought of that as an answer. Good job, Putri. Okay, so having said that, those were our learning points from our friends here. Yes. So my conclusion for today, Mr. Chris, as pupils, we are able to use appropriate communication strategies by using adverb frequency, will be going to and be going to in giving your response within 20 seconds for you to construct your ideas. Mm. All right. And the second one was we were able to keep interaction going in longer exchange by applying conversation feelers and language expressions in two sentences of a situation given. So that actually creates the repo and the communicative competence will be assessed on that part. Right, and speaking of assessments, Madam Farah, I'd like to ask you, mm -hmm. how did our pupils and my friends online do today? All right, I feel that they have already um, raised up your own standards on giving your own response. And I would be, how do I say, I'm speechless because you guys were able to do this within 20 seconds and keep on going and keep your head up yeah. and spread your wings and start speaking non-stop, people. Uh that's right, and you can also access all the resources on Sumbaku for today's lesson. Yes. And with that, I'd like to say thank you so much to my friends online. Thank you, you guys did a good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Tepuk, um, tepuk. Good job. Good job. Good G job. G-O-O-D-J-O-B. Good job. Good job. Good all right. job, people. And with that, also I want to thank uh, Madam Farah for today's insightful uh, lesson on jobs and chores. Yes. Now, as usual, Usually, Madam Farah ends her lesson with a song. So I wonder, Madam Farah, do you have a song for today? Of course. And you know why, Mr. Chris? I would always make my students enjoy learning whatever topics that they're going to learn mm. by giving them a gift of my own lyrics composed with their favourite song. All okay. right. So with that, everyone stand up and let's sing along together. So what's the song called? Yes, I Love My I Chores. I Love My Chores from okay. Lazy Song. Let's Bruno go. Mars. <laughs> Okay, let's move it, people. Yeah, move it <laughs> to the right, to the left. Today I, I do feel, feel like, like doing, doing everything. everything. Come, Mr. Chris. Oh, this I don't want to just lay on, on my bed. bed. I feel I like cleaning up my room. room. I sweep the floor and, and take my broom. Because today I know I'll, I'll say yes to everything. Nobody's gonna tell me I can. Yo, Mr. Chris. No. I'll, I'll wash all the plates and dirty in the kitchen. Click the TV, I do my thing, and I will earn. Cause in my castle, I'm the freaking girl. Man. DD TV KPM.